Welcome back to a special edition of Crossroads Cafe. I'm Sophia Reeves. The 25th episode of our series focused on the reasons people move to the United States and why they want to stay here once they come here. Our area is a very popular destination for people who move to the U.S. from another country. Montgomery County has a foreign-born population that is well above the national average. And while there are many reasons why people who move to our county end up wanting to stay here, surely one reason might be because of the services that the county government provides its residents. The county has developed a unique and convenient method of delivering vital services through a system of regional service centers. And to find out all about the centers and the services they provide, I sat down with Katherine Matthews, the regional director for the Up County Regional Services Center in Germantown. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. Before we begin talking specifically about the Up County Service Center, I'd like to talk with you about the concept of Montgomery County Service Centers in general. There are five service centers like yours around the county. Can you explain the thought behind creating these centers? And what was the county's goal in choosing this approach? Sure, well, in Montgomery County, and you know the county seat is in Rockville, um, but back in the 70s, we started seeing a, a real growth trend in Montgomery County in terms of the population. And as the population grew, so did the county government. However, we found that county government was becoming a little disconnected from the communities. Different departments were trying to find out what uh, services were needed in different neighborhoods and areas of the county. And we have a very large land uh, mass, as you know. Um, so in their work in trying to find out what was needed in the communities, and then finding out that uh, citizens were just having a hard time always coming to Rockville to get a service, we thought maybe we need to go where the people are. So the idea was to create a regional services center. Uh, then it was called a government services center. But the first one was established in Silver Spring. The second one was uh, in Wheaton. It's called the Mid-County Regional Services Center now. The third one was established in the Bethesda Chevy Chase area. And the fourth one is here in the Up County, the Up County Regional Center. And the last one was uh, established in the eastern part of the county. So the idea was to bring Montgomery County government closer to the people so that uh, services would become more accessible and people could connect more with their county. And you know in Montgomery County we do have a philosophy of really wanting to get community input on different things. Now let's talk specifically about your center. Starting with a general overview, uh, what will Montgomery County citizens find here? Well, here, it, as I said, this is their link to Montgomery County and specifically to the office of the county executive. When they get here, they'll find my office um, and I serve as a representative to the exec uh, for the executive here in the region to our, our community. Um, but they'll also find another um, surprise, and that's a variety of other services provided by other departments. Uh, they will find a number of uh, other agencies here providing services from morning, sometimes through the night. Um, and, uh, and we try to provide something for everybody in the community. So it's not just uh, targeting one sector of the, of the population. Let's talk about the service the center offers. And if you don't mind, I'd like to go through each of them one by one. So we make sure to cover all of them for our viewers. Let's begin with the center's role as a link to the county's executive office. What does that mean and how does it work? Well, the county executive is very accessible, tries to be very accessible, but we have a very large county, as you know. Uh, so he has five regional directors and our job is to represent him in the county, in the community. Um, that means we're attending meetings on his behalf, explaining his policies and, and his uh, initiatives. It means that we're representing him at e events um, that he can't make it to. Uh, it means that we're working with the business community to find out what's on their mind. And uh, in the other direction, we try to make sure that the community's perspective is represented in different policy dis uh, discussions with the county executive and the county council. The center also has a community outreach function. Please describe for us what that means and how that works. Well, in trying to make sure we touch the community uh, and know exactly what the community is thinking, we uh, reach out to the community to find uh, through surveys or um, just to find out what they're thinking about specific issues. Uh, or 
what's on their mind in terms of suggestions in making living in Montgomery County even better. We also help other departments who want to get a handle on perhaps what a project uh, will mean in a community, a project of theirs, um, and so they will contact us to find out um, what the community is thinking. Um, we also work with the Office of Community Partnership and their liaisons to the various ethnic communities to f so that we can get even more information and a better sense of what everybody in the community is thinking, no matter you know, what their background, how long they've been here, whether they're from the uh, immigrant community or uh, they speak another language. So we have a lot of resources that we try to use to uh, reach out to the community. But we're reaching out to them in a, in a way to solve problems. I understand the county library system is also involved with the community outreach function of the center. Can you explain their involvement? We work very closely with the libraries because that's where a lot of people go. So if there's information that we need to share with the community, we will make sure the library has it. And uh, they serve as a, as a repository of information for the community to run by and pick up a flyer or learn more about a, a community meeting that's coming up. Um, the libraries are considered public forums, so you can find out about just about anything at the library. The center is home to the offices of a number of vital county agencies. If we could, let's go over each one of these, beginning with the Gilcrest Center for Cultural Diversity. What services do they offer county residents and where are they located? Well, the Gilchrist Center for Cultural Diversity is located here in the building on the first floor, and they are here to serve as a welcome center, basically, for visitors and for new residents of Montgomery County, especially residents who have come from another country, perhaps, and are not familiar with local government. Um, they are offering classes in English for speakers of other languages. They offer citizenship preparation classes and other information and, and seminars about immigration. Uh, so they are a great resource to us. And the Pepper Trees Children's Center, can you please tell us about that? Sure, that's a child care center located here in the building. They offer child care services for the general public and especially for our employees here in the building. They uh, provide before school and after school uh, care for everybody from infants uh, up to elementary school. What about the housing assistance unit? What services do they provide county residents? Well, one thing that we noticed several years ago as the economy started changing was that we had a lot of foreclosures here occurring in the county, and in particular in the up county area. And we felt that people needed to know what their options were. And again, in order to make it more convenient for them, why not bring those services here to the center? So the, we have housing counselors who help to advise uh, homeowners on their rights and different options available to them if they find themselves headed towards foreclosure. So it's basically a prevention assistance program. Montgomery Works is also located in this center. Can you please describe the services they offer? Sure. Montgomery Works is one program of the Department of Economic Development here in the county. And what they do is offer workshops um, and training uh, for folks who want to re-enter the workforce or people who are entering for the first time. Uh, it, as you know, again, it's hard to find jobs sometimes, uh, so they do provide one-on-one -on -one counseling as well. So they will help uh, someone prepare a resume. They will provide training and uh, how to interview. Uh, they also have added a business services representative who actually works with various businesses around in recruitment, uh, helping them to recruit new employees. So we're very happy to have them here as well. The County Department of Health and Human Services also has an office in the center, and it looks like they offer a wide variety of services. Can you detail those for us, please? Sure. First of all, there's a service eligibility unit, so if a person wants or needs services, but they don't really know what they might be qualified for, uh, they can start there and they will be assessed, their issues will be discussed, and they'll have an idea of what services they might be able to apply for. Uh, we also have offices of um, emergency services. They help people who need assistance with utility bills, with rent, and other, other problems. Um, 
there is an income supports unit that helps people with food stamps and medical assistance. And there is another housing uh, counseling component there as well. And we even have a dental clinic here. Uh, of course, it's uh, based on uh, eligibility. On the third floor of the center is the community use of public facilities office. What is the services they provide? CUP, the community use of public facilities, we commonly call it CUP, they manage the rentals of public facilities. So if a group or an individual or a family wants space for an event or a meeting, they go through that office to reserve space either in a public school or in the library or recreation center or even one of the regional services centers. Also on the third floor is the Montgomery County Public Schools office. What goes on there? Well, Montgomery County Public Schools has their organizational development offices here in the Up County Regional Center. So they are there to help uh, support the various personnel in the schools. So it's not surprising for us to see a seminar or a training here for school principals or teachers. So that's what they do there. We also have their offices um, that manage the transportation services for Montgomery County Public Schools. The center also has rooms available. Can you talk with us a little about how citizens can take advantage of this service? Certainly, we're really proud to have these rooms available to the community. Um, in the Up County, there aren't a lot of public facilities or places to have meetings. So whether you're an HOA, a homeowners association, or a community organization, or just a few people who need to get together uh, for a meeting, or if you're a business and you need a conference room that might not be, uh, you might have trouble finding elsewhere, you can certainly come to the Up County Regional Center, but you should call the Community Use of Public Facilities that I just uh, talked to you about, and they will rent you a room. And the meeting rooms are available at a very nominal charge. Are there other services offered at the center that we haven't talked about yet? Sure, it's from time to time we have community forums. We have uh, trainings and seminars and workshops on different things. We just recently held a community forum on healthy Montgomery, for instance, asking the community to, to help define what a healthy community would be in Montgomery County. We also have, uh, this is the home for the Up County Youth Advisory Committee. It's a group of youths who meet throughout the year. They do a couple of community service projects. And at the end of the year, they meet with the county executive uh, to share their ideas and suggestions on how to make life even better for them here in Montgomery County. How is the Up County Citizens Advisory Board affiliated with the center and what exactly is their role? Well, the board is a 20 member uh, board and it's, uh, the members are appointed by the county executive and confirmed by the county council. And their job is to advise the executive and the council and myself on the different issues that are impacting the up county region. Their job is to bring to the table what their communities are thinking about various issues, but also to uh, take the messages out to their communities. If a person wants to contact the center because they have questions and or want to reserve a room for a meeting, what are the best ways to get in touch with the people here? Well, they can certainly call 311 and ask for me or my office, or they can send me an email at upcounty.citizen at montgomerycountymd.gov. They can call my office directly if they're having trouble through 311, and that number is 240-777-8047. And uh, we will try to help them as quickly uh, as we can. This last question is a little off topic, but I was wondering if you could tell us the story behind the sculpture in front of the building. What does it symbolize? Oh, that's, that sculpture was done for this building specifically. It was done by an artist named George Greenemeyer in 1991 when we first opened. Uh, and it really depicts life in Germantown in its heyday in the 1920s. So you'll see uh, the actual uh, a replication of the old Liberty Mill. You'll see the old train station, and the figures actually depict people who've lived here in Germantown. So it's pretty exciting. It lights up at night, and it's a, it's a big help in explaining the history to our visitors, whether they're youth groups or some of our international groups that come through. In closing, so everybody understands, can you let us know what your goals here are? 
certainly there are three points here. One is to improve communication between county government and the community and vice versa. The second one is to help solve problems because we seem to know our community or we strive to know our community uh, very well um, and to be experts basically in our region, knowing the community, knowing what the problems are and what the resources are. So we're here to facilitate that, uh, finding solutions. And then thirdly, to identify any services that might be missing. Things change as a community evolves over time and sometimes the services might, the, the need for certain services might change. So that pretty much sums up why we're here. Well, thank you so much for speaking with me today. Oh, thank you for having me. It was a pleasure. Welcome back. And once again, my thanks to Katherine Matthews, the Regional Director of the Up County Regional Service Center in Germantown. If you have questions about the center, need information on the services offered there, or if you want to reserve a room, you can call 311, the county's information line. You can also call Katherine Matthews' office directly at 240-777-777. 8047, or you can send an email to upcounty.citizen at montgomerycountymaryland.gov. So after talking with Katherine Matthews, we also wanted to talk to some of the people who make use of the center. So we sent our reporter Lillian Mass back to Germantown to find out what county residents think of the center. And here's her report. Thanks, Sophia. I'm here at the Up County Regional Services Center in Germantown. And today we want to talk to people who make use of the services that I offer here. I knew about the center because I uh, became unemployed in March. And going online, this is one of the centers for Montgomery County. And it's a lot closer than Wheaton. Yes. <laughs> so uh, at first I was... Uh, well, what I am using was the uh, Montgomery Work Center, which helps with, not with filing unemployment, but with uh, different things for unemployed people. Helps find jobs, things like that. So you just mentioned that it's closer to Wheaton. So having this um, center so close to you, like what kind of advantage does it represent for you? Well, it represents the fact that it, it's not uh, a hassle to get to. Having to go down to Wheaton in the past, uh, I mean, it's really, because of where it's located, it, it's really tough to get down there. And this is extremely convenient for all Up County residents. Well, I've lived in Germantown for more than 20 years, so I knew it was here. Well, that it, it, it is literally close enough I can walk. I drove today, but I could walk to here. I mean, it used to be the library, so I was familiar with its location then, and now I it's really good to know that I, this is as far as I got to go to do things as far as unemployment is concerned. And I'm unemployed right now, so I'm using the Maryland Work Center. It offers actually workshops, um, the resume writing workshops. I happen to be over 50. They offer one of an over 50 job hunt thing. But the best thing is they offer computers for use. And I've been coming here for a few years now, so. What, what kind of services are you using? Um, the TCA, food stamps, stuff like that. So how did you find out about it? Um, I don't remember. It was so long ago when I heard about social services. So what does that represent for you being able to get uh, food stamps and TCA? I think, it's, I think it's pretty good. Now I know, and I just found out today that they do shots for kids which is pretty good. They do it for people who don't have insurance. So that's, that's pretty good. If you don't have insurance, you can come here for your kids and get their shots. And um, do you live around the area? Yes. So uh, having the center so close to you, is it, uh, what does it represent? Um, well, it represents, a, well, it's good to know that people is here to help us and it's not, we don't have to go jump skipping away from getting help. It is convenience. It's very convenient. Is there anything that you would like to add about the center? No, everything's fine here. Customer service is good. The people who work here is good. So I, w I don't have no complaints. If you are single and you need help, they help you no matter who you are. If you don't have much to do or no job, they help you with everything. So come to the center. <laughs> she was a previous uh, 
I guess, applicant. Mm -hmm. So we just came back for uh, to reapply. So um, what kind of services are you using from the center? Uh, right now we're trying to get uh, food stamps and temporary cash assistance, so we're waiting to see what's the response from them. Do you live ever in the area? Yes, right across the street, uh, Germantown, uh, Meadowbrook Road. So how the help that you're getting from the center, uh, it's um, uh, helping you? I know it's a redundant question. But. Um, well, they're helping me by uh, providing, uh, hopefully, uh, food stamps, uh, and it's going to help in her household since she's living with me. And, uh, you know, the, the, the staff was very friendly, actually. So, you know, other than that, we're just waiting to see what happens and see if we're approved. And uh, having the center around your like where you live, um, is it a good thing for you? It is. It's very convenient. It's only like two minutes from me, so it's 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 easy. It's just easy to get here. What about you? Have you ever thought like, do you know the services that they're offering? Have you ever used them? Um, I did back in I want to say four years ago. I actually used um, medical assistance for my daughters. I have come here previously over the last few years. Today I heard about it through the DOORS program, Department of Rehabilitative Services. I've just received disability and been told that I can't work. I'm driving myself crazy at home, so um, they have offered me <clears throat> the opportunity to go back to school, which is why I went to the college. I picked up some applications for a uh, grants and loans and such and they mentioned Montgomery Works which is one of the programs here um, as a resource for assisting me in rewriting my resume and um, offering other job opportunities and possibilities. So do you live around the area? Yeah, walking distance. So uh, what does that mean for you to have the center so close to you? Wonderful, because I just made a bunch of copies of things that I couldn't afford to make copies of, but I can make them here free. And um, so what a specific um, a thing brought you over here? What services in a specific brought you over here? To get in touch with Montgomery Works, to make some copies. Um, so I have for my records for this new journey that I'm about to embark on. So there, there's a lot of people who doesn't know about the center. What would you say to them? Um, it's a good place to come, look around, check into, see what they have to offer because there's a lot here. They even they I mean they have computers. You can look for jobs. Um, you can get resume writing classes. They have computer updating or or informing people on how to use computers. There's a lot here. There's a lot. I came to uh, apply for the, uh, what is this, um, Medicaid that is for my son, um, his health insurance, and for my um, Medicare to, um, for help for my pregnancy. That's how I know. And um, tell me, what specific services are you using over here? Uh, I apply for the health insurance for my son, and um, I will, I will, because I don't have insurance. Right now, so I, I trying to apply there for um, having this baby, and it's because it's too expensive to have the baby without insurance. So, what does that represent for you, being able to get these services and this help from the center? Um, it's a very good help because you know at this point it's too expensive uh, to have a baby or to have a, a, uh, you know something problems with the insu uh, without the insurance. It's too expensive. So I uh, hear they help you. It doesn't matter your position or um, what is your your race. Yes. And um, do you live around the area? Yeah, I live in Gatesburg. So having this center close to you is it uh, in a good adventure for you? Oh uh, yeah, it's it's fine. It's in a good place. In a, it's close where I live. It's like ten miles away. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Right now I'm retired, but I'm coming at this place, at this Montgomery Works, for the last couple of years, and uh, I, I I got a lot of information by which uh, I can apply for the uh, job, and there are good uh, possibilities uh, for getting the job through this media. 
and uh, really, uh, and the people who here, they are very helping, and all all the time, you know, they are ready to help you, and whatever the questions you have, they are ready to answer also, and I'm. I'm really satisfied with the service they are providing, and uh, it is really great that uh, we have this uh, kind of institution is there, which helps a lot of people. And how did you hear about it? I uh, uh, I, I I heard this one in the beginning. Uh, I guess a couple of years they were at uh, uh, um, uh, this uh, Lake Forest Mall. They have the office there. I was going there for just for you know shopping, and at that time I found out that they are here, and I started going there, and I registered myself for the this uh, Mongol works, and from then they moved here, so I started coming here. I attended the seminars and also because they have uh, uh, you know they, they have a really good uh, uh, they train you for also they give you good information on how to make your resume and all those things. And that way, uh, a lot of people get help, and also I got some help also through them, and I got some interviews also for my job, and you know that's really great. You know. Okay. So sometimes when uh, we people age, uh, we might lose the hope that we will be able to get a job. Do you think that they have helped you? Yeah. yeah. To build up your yeah. confidence. Right. Yeah, that's true, because. Uh, 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 so sometimes what happens, you look at the newspaper, and nowadays you don't see that many job openings in the newspaper. But uh, here, I'm in the accounting field, and I, I, I find I find lots of jobs where you can uh, fax your resume. Also, they give you, they help you on that one also. You come and just give them the information. They just uh, help you fax the resume, and uh, for if you want to do. Uh, email, then they have that, that also because once we are registered with them, then you can use their computer and that way you can do yourself the email your resume and that way you can get the job, you know, open also. This is my fourth month in this country uh -huh. and I love to be in here. So tell me about the center. How did you hear about the center? Um, through social gathering. Uh -huh. I have friends uh, who have been staying here for so long and they introduced me to the county and uh, they're so helpful. So uh, being so new in here, what kind of help are you receiving from them? Wow, job searching, they're so good in that. Uh -huh. And um, uh, giving you how, showing how to write uh, resumes uh -huh. and um, everything. They're so welcoming. So you're coming from a different country, yeah. are they helping you to adjust to this uh, system and everything in this country? Yes, they do. How? Um, the, like right now I got the appointment on uh, how to write the resume and uh, I think that's a good step. It's a first nice step because not everywhere you get to people are, are so free with you and they are so welcoming and helping you to write and show you the right way. And that is a good thing. So there is a lot of people that might be in your position. What would you say to them? I tell them they better join these classes. They are so good. So good? <laughs> so good. What have you learned from it? Um, so far, uh, I have known how to write a resume. In my country, we call it um, CV. Mm -hmm. Here they call it resume, and uh, resume, you don't need to have so many papers to write. You just need one paper and nice, you write the, the way they show you, and I uh, make the limit of misusing the papers. So they are good also in the environment, you see. So um, uh, have they um, given you any training on how, what to do in a job interview? Uh, yes, they have. Would you share about your experience? Yes, I can share. Um, Right now, I have sent some resume with bank, uh -huh. and I'm hoping to hear from tomorrow because it's one week now. It's be one week by tomorrow, so I, I know there is a good chance. So I recommend I recommend them. Okay. Yep. Um. Well, I've been coming here for um about six years on and off when I needed help with my my first child, and they really you know helped me with my benefits and stuff that I'm supposed to get. So what kind of um, services are you getting? Um, well, um, it's food stamp and I get TCA. 
Yeah. And do, medical assistance. Do you, live medical. Around, do you live around the area? I live in Gaithersburg. So having the center so close to you. Yeah, it really helps. Yeah, because I don't have to drive that far. I just take 355 and come straight here to Middlebrook Road and, and that's it. There's a lot of people who doesn't know about the center. Would you, what would you say to them? Um, well, if they need the help, they need to come because, I mean, it's, it's everything and there's always like different referrals that give you if you don't have stuff and you can't afford. You just have to wait and that's it, but your waiting pays off. I don't know what your situation is, but there's a lot of single mothers. And, and, yeah, I'm a single mom. I have two kids. I take care of myself. So what would it be if you didn't know about the center or if it wasn't a center? <laughs> I don't even know what I'll be doing right now. It really helps me out a, a, a greater deal. I get a lot of help from them. My thanks to Lillian for that look into why people make use of the Regional Services Center and what they think of the services that are offered there. One more time, if you have questions about the center, need information on the services offered there, or if you want to reserve a room, you can call 311, the county's information line. You can also call Catherine Matthews' office directly at 240-777-8047. Or it can send an email to upcounty.citizen at montgomerycountymaryland.gov. I'm Sophia Reeves, and thanks for watching Crossroads Cafe.